Numerical Methods Problem 8.32 Figure P8.32 shows a circuit with a resistor, an inductor, and a capacitor in parallel. Kirchhoff's rule can be used to express the impedance of the system as 1 over the impedance is equal to the square root of 1 over the resistance squared plus the angular frequency multiplied by the capacitance subtracted by 1 over the angular frequency multiplied by the inductance squared or Z equals the impedance in ohms written as omega and W equals the angular frequency find the W that results in an important I mean impedance of 75 ohms using both bisection and false position with initial guess of 1 and 1000 for the following parameters. R resistance equals 225 ohms. C capacitance equals 0.6 times 10 to the negative 6 farads. L inductance is equal to 0.5 henrys. Determine how many iterations of each technique are necessary to determine the answer to an error of 0.1%. Use the graphical approach to explain any difficulties that arise. So, here are the values that are given to us by the problem. Here is our range for our angular frequency. And here is our function reworked. Here's our original function. We simply have subtract z to this side of the function and have this side of the function be the denominator of 1 and set that all equal to 0 and thus gives us our new function here which we can use to solve for the correct angular frequency. So we plot that up angular frequency by our function and then we implement both the bisection method and the false position method. Here we go through our bisection method where we take our upper guess and our lower guess and approximate to our correct root. And then after that we go through our conditional statements. We also check our percent error as the problem asks. And then we will plot up the bisection method in green and our error in black. We do the same for the false position method. We have an upper and a lower bound. And then we have our false position method here. We have our conditions. Then we plot up our error in black and the false position method will be plotted up in red. So, let's run it up. As you can see, our original function is in blue. And then our approximations to our root are the dots that are in green and red. As you can see, they're all going towards zero, which is about at 40 and our black dots are at zero because our error is near zero. Remember that the false position method is in red and the bisection is in green. 
And now let's take a, take a look at our values. First, the bisection method. Gives us 39.6995. We put that into our function. We result in a number very, very close to zero. And then using our other method, we also get 39.6995. When we put that into our function, we get exactly zero. So both cases, both functions, the bisection and the false position method, bring us to our solution of 39.6995 although our second message method, the false position method, bring, brings us closer to the exact answer on the computer. And we result in the exact zero when we put our estimate to the approximate root in our false position function. And that's it for problem 8.32.